Did you know that a third of all the land on Earth is covered in forests? A forest just like this one here behind me. So today on Indiana Drones, we're going to be testing out this drone LiDAR technology and seeing just how well does it see through trees like this and measure the bare earth below it. The reason this is so important is because on most of our work, we're working for construction sites and they need to have a bare earth topographical model so that way they can start designing and planning their construction job. So today on Indiana Drones, let's just see how well does this drone LiDAR technology see through the trees and measure the bare earth below it. Let's start flying. Well, we just got an awesome job coming up. We're here in the Ozark Mountains in Missouri, and we have to get to our job site. In order to do that, we're taking a river jet boat. So we got our friend Possum here. You ready to go out to the river? We're ready to rumble. Let's do it. Now, it's a common misconception that LiDAR can actually see through the trees. I actually thought this was the case when I first got started out. Actually, much like the sunlight that you see behind me, most of the sun's gonna be hitting the tops of the trees and the brush, but some of it, just some of it, will make its way all the way down to the forest floor. And just like this, the LiDAR creates its own light, except for it's using lasers. And these laser beams will hit most of the trees and the brush, but some of it makes it all the way down to the forest floor. That was some pretty heavy stuff right there. So let's get back to the mission at hand and get out and start collecting some data. All right, we just got the drone all set up here. We're ready to start flying and capturing data. Guys, if you look behind me, there is a ton of trees and this foliage is super dense. I think it's gonna be a really good use case to test how well this drone and really the LiDAR can see through the vegetation. Let's get flying. Hey, welcome back to the office. It's time to start looking at that data. What is that? Oh, that's just a 15 foot wingspan drone. More on that later. And also, we created a website called theindianadrones.com. We're doing a newsletter on there to share with you a bunch of information about LiDAR, mapping, and really everything you'd ever want to know on the subject. So if you're interested for more, just go over to theindianadrones.com, subscribe to that newsletter. Now, let's go ahead and start looking at the data. Wow, here we go. This is our first look at this data. Lots of trees, lots of vegetation, but this isn't what we're really interested in. We're gonna look at the ground classified points, so all the data that made it all the way to the ground. Wow, wow. So this is the ground classified points, and it looks amazing. Really good, just pretty incredible, honestly. Now the ground classified points are, are awesome and all, but the really important thing is that we're going to generate a surface model, digital elevation model, and contours from this. Let's take a look at that surface model now. Whoa, very impressive. Very impressive. Now, I'm quite shocked at how well this looks. 
This is the surface model from the classified ground points underneath all that vegetation. I don't think you can do this otherwise. Like, I don't, I don't think you can go out there with a GPS on a pole. You'd probably lose signal. How could you even walk through that? So really, the aerial LiDAR is kind of one of the only ways to get this data. This is very impressive. Now, usually this surface model is only being seen by us. Uh, our customers, the engineering firms, construction firms, they're going to be looking at a contour model and using that to import into their CAD software. Let's go ahead and take a look at the contours. Well, there you go. That's the contours right there. Looking really good. Lots of detailed information. All of this bare earth, no vegetation. Pretty darn cool right there. That's slick. It looks like the LiDAR drone can see through trees. I mean, we got a lot of points on the bare earth ground through that very dense vegetation. This was a really good use case to get out there and just show you and show ourselves and go through the process of collecting this data and then classifying it and seeing how does it perform going through dense, dense vegetation. So I'm really excited to share this. We're gonna be posting this data set up online so you can look at it. We're also writing a little blog post so you can get more information about that. You'll find that over at theindianadrones.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment below. That really helps us. Subscribe to the channel. And here on Indiana Drones, we'll see you guys next time. Let's fly.